Well, the census data presents a, a vast opportunity for um, business journalists because in addition to the decennial census, the, the every 10 year census that uh, we just um, we were starting to get information from, the census collects all kinds of economic data uh, that's available, everything from like salaries to you know occupations to you know business uh, um, uh, you know, international exports and imports. It collects all of those kinds of, of information, uh, bits of information, so that you know there there are just numerous opportunities for business journalists to to delve into um, that data and to find interesting stories. How you can use this information and how you can harness this information for story ideas is to actually look at the forms that the census collects the information um, on. And like the, the census that was mailed out to everyone, um, <clears throat> all the households has a housing question on it. And it asks things like, is the house owned, is it rented, uh, do you have a mortgage? You know, again, that's a huge business story because you know we're coming out of this recession, and the housing crisis was one of the things that led us into this. And one of the hallmarks of the Bush administration um, was the ownership society, particularly home ownership, and African Americans in particular had um, you know record number, uh, record levels of home ownership um, through various you know programs and and. But to look at that now, uh, is that trend going down? Um, and you can do that looking at the census data. You know, that I can't think of a biz bigger business story right now than to look at, look at housing. Uh, are people shifting away from ownership to renting more? You know, um, are there people who are living more in group quarters um, you know, then they, so there are any number of possibilities that can, you can do with just that one question uh, on the regular census. And then you have the American Community Survey, which collects more information about that, like the type of homes. So you could say, you know, are homes bigger? Do they have more rooms now? You know, um, you can look at uh, other things like, you know, how much do people spend of their income on housing? Um, so just the question around housing will, will lend itself to a number of different stories. The other thing is that the census collects a lot of information um, beyond just the census. You know, it collects economic information, like I said, on international trade. Uh, it collects information on, you know, median household income, all of those different things that, again, lend themselves to uh, great business stories. You know, this all this information is all self-reported, and so it may not match up with what's actually real. Because um, if you ask people, well, how much is your house worth? They may or may not know, and they report what they think it's worth on the census. Whereas, you know, the local tax assessor may see it differently. The other thing is a lot of the economic data that the census collects uh, is done through surveys. And so there are margins of error with the survey. So things that may look like there's a difference, it may turn out not to be a difference. Uh, one of the examples that um, we saw from a, the census workshop that's going on uh, here at, at Arizona State University um, was looking at House median household income, and they had a ranking where Maryland was ranked first, and then I believe Connecticut was, or Jersey, one of those states was ranked second. But if you actually looked at the margin of error, it really wasn't that different. So you really couldn't say Jersey has higher median household income than Connecticut. Um, and a lot of times, that's, as journalists, that's what we want. We want to be able to say who's number one, to down to 10, uh, but that's not always possible when you have uh, data that's based on surveys because you do have those margins of errors.
biggest challenge is there's so much of it. So the the idea is to go in with a story idea. You know, not to just rummage through the data and try and figure out, well, what can I do? But to go in and thinking, okay, well, what kind of stories do I want to do? And then, you know, you look for the data sets that will help you uh, get to that. Um, because, you know, most of us as working journalists, we don't really have time to spend the whole day just going through the census website trying to figure out what a story is. We need to have an idea of what we want to do and then find the appropriate data set. Just that the census is a, is a very important um, you know, tool for business reporters that is underutilized. I think that you know, business reporters are used to getting information from other places, but the census information is, is very, very useful. Everything from the, um, you know, the, the American Community Survey to the regular census to the economic surveys that they do. Uh, it's all great, great data, and you know, marketers use it. Uh, it's down to very detailed, small levels, so you can actually look at your area. You don't have to look at a state. I mean, you can look at your city. You can look at your block um, with that that fine level of detail. So that's that would be my suggestion um, for reporters who are trying to use the census data.